In this video, I will be comparing the purposes, overall mechanisms, and results of mitosis and meiosis. Detailed mechanism of mitosis has been covered in my video on the cell cycle. Before diving into the comparison, we first need to understand some key terms. Eukaryotic DNA is wrapped around proteins known as histones, forming beads on a string called nucleosomes. Nucleosomes are further compacted into chromatin fiber in order to fit in the nucleus. Throughout interphase, which is 90% of the cell cycle, chromatin remains in a relatively loose disorder state. During prophase of both mitosis and meiosis, chromatin coils to form a condensed structure known as chromosome in order for cell division to take place. Humans have 23 pairs of homologous chromosomes. Each pair consists of one paternal and one maternal chromosome, which share the same length, central mirror position, and the same genes that contain different alleles. In this video, I'll use a simplistic model with two pairs of chromosomes represented as 2n equals 4. During S phase, DNA replication takes place. Each chromosome now contains two identical sister chromatids attached through centromere. Notice that although the amount of DNA doubles, the number of chromosomes still remain the same. A trick for distinguishing the two at each stage is to count the number of sister chromatids for the amount of DNA and count the number of centromeres for the number of chromosomes. Also known that I've drawn G1 and S phase in condensed chromosome state for clarity but the DNAs actually exist as loose chromatin during these phases. Mitosis is important for development, cell replacement, and asexual reproduction in some species. The goal is to produce genetically identical daughter nuclei, essentially cloning the cell. As I mentioned in my previous video, mitosis consists of prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. During metaphase, each individual chromosome aligns in the middle of the cell. Each pair of sister chromatids is attached to two kinetochoric microtubules coming from opposite poles. Mitosis results in the separation of sister chromatids, forming two identical daughter cells with the same amount of DNA and chromosome number as the mother nucleus at G1 phase. On the other hand, meiosis is important for sexual reproduction with the goal to create genetically distinct haploid gametes to increase genetic diversity. During fertilization, two haploid gametes fuse to create a diploid zygote, which will eventually develop into a new individual. Therefore, meiosis is a much more complicated process compared to mitosis. Meiosis involves two rounds of cell division, each containing prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. During prophase 1, each pair of homologous chromosomes loosely pair up as tetrad, aligned gene by gene in a process known as synapsis. Each tetrad usually has one or more XJ regions known as chiasmata, where non-sister chromatids of each pair of homologous chromosomes exchange DNA segments, meaning that a paternal chromatid exchanges DNA with a maternal chromatid. This process is known as crossing over or genetic recombination, which serves as one mechanism to increase the genetic diversity of gametes. Each pair of maternal and paternal sister chromatids are non-identical after genetic recombination. During metaphase 1, the tetras of homologous chromosomes, instead of individual chromosomes, align at the center of the cell with kinetic core microtubules attaching to each chromosome. A second source of genetic diversity comes from the fact that maternal and paternal chromosomes are randomly aligned, independent of other pairs of homologous chromosomes. This phenomenon is predicted by Mendelian law of independent assortment. As a result, meiosis 1 separates pairs of homologous chromosomes in which sister chromatins remain attached at the central mirror and move as one unit. Meiosis 1 creates two daughter cells that contain the same amount of DNA as the G1 mother cell, counting the sister chromatids, but half the amount of chromosomes, counting the amount of central mirrors, represented by n equals 2, which means that they are haploid cells. Meiosis 2 is similar to mitosis in which individual chromosomes are aligned at the metaphase plate. Sister chromatids separate, producing four haploid daughter cells that are genetically distinct from each other and from the G1 mother cell. 